remarkable scientists may have made a significant breakthrough in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Researchers were able to eliminate HIV from infected cells with gene editing technology. What does that mean? Let's bring in Dr. Jonathan Stoy. He's a virus expert at the Francis Crick Institute in London. Uh, well, so what does this mean, Jonathan? Uh, what, gene editing, what is it? And, and how did it work in this case or apparently work? What needs to be done when trying to treat an HIV infection is to remove the HIV proviruses from the cells of infected individuals. So this CRISPR-Cas technique is designed to just do just that. Uh, the studies so far have been done on cells in culture. Uh, we haven't yet got any real experience with animals, though that's, those studies are beginning. So I'm curious about, I mean, it sounds like sci-fi and, and science often does. Um, how significant are these findings and what could it be, uh, what could it mean not only for HIV and AIDS patients, but is this the kind of technology that can be used for other uh, potentially deadly uh, diseases? Yes, it can be used for other potentially diseases. At the moment, uh, various organizations are targeting sickle cell anemia as well as HIV as a way of trying to treat the disease. And how far away are we from this becoming a broadly available treatment? What are the, the obstacles or the hurdles between now and that reality being with us? I think it's a, it's a distant goal. Um, hmm. We still, we can treat a certain number of, we can remove a certain number of these proviruses from cells, but there are a lot of unknowns about the reservoir that remains in HIV-infected individuals. The, the viruses that persist will be very hard to get rid of. Hmm. And the problem is that we've got, we've got to get rid of them all, otherwise the virus may reappear and reinfect the person. All right, Dr. Jonathan Stowe, a virus expert at the Francis Crick Institute in London with the wonder of this breakthrough and also the obstacles still that need to be overcome. Thank you very much. Thank you.